Hey, fatty! Tonight, we're going to talk about how much muscle can snake diet fat man build only doing one measly set per day? One measly fucking set. You know how much fucking muscle he's going to build on that one set as long as he's consistent and going in there and making gains on those weights? Fucking again, 40 pounds of lean muscle, you fucking idiots. Fuck. People just don't fucking get how fucking building muscle works. Okay, if you're making gains on those fucking lifts, okay? For example, so he hit what? 60 pound dumbbells on his incline press the other day for 20? So 60 in each hand. You think he's not going to have built muscle once he's thrown around fucking 80s for 20? 80s for 20? He's going to be there quick. Okay? Fuck, he's moving those 60s around like they're fuck all, and he's still awkward on the movement because he doesn't even have any practice yet. Wait till he actually gets fucking his nervous system adapted to the fucking movement. People are idiots. The amount of muscle that fucker can put on will be fucking insane. And then when he actually starts tapping out on the one set per day training, by then he's going to be down a fuckload of weight. Because the weight loss is a joke when he's focused on the weight training. Then we can fuck around with some heavy ass weight, real heavy ass weight, low reps. Once he's a better lifter. And then you're going to fucking see the fucking beast come out, motherfuckers. Monster Mac. And then when you build that much muscle, you know how much that increases his BMR. It makes the weight loss a fucking joke. A fucking joke. Okay, Matt's probably around 60% body fat right now. Okay, a good goal for him would be somewhere around 20. Okay, 20% body fat. There's nothing wrong with 20% body fat on anybody that's a male. Fuck, women are getting pretty lean at 20%. A fucking that should be the goal for you fat pigs that are men. 20%. Because at 20% on a one meal a day diet, you can basically eat as much as you fucking want if you got a pile of muscle on your body and not gain a dime. Okay, you're not going to gain any weight. I'm the example. Fuck. I can't get over 200 pounds. I've been 200 pounds now for two fucking months. Eating trash on a meal a day. Fucking trash. Every one of my lifts is going up like crazy. Fuck, my lean tissue is going to be way up there. Okay, I can't get over 200 on like 35 to 4,000 calories. Okay, 3,500 to 4,000 fucking calories. In fact, the last while, because I couldn't hold on to 200 pounds, I had to eat twice because I didn't want to gorge so much in that one sitting. So that being said, you got a guy like Matt, who's like six foot seven, and he's gonna tack on a pile of muscle. How much do you think he could fucking eat and hold on to 20% body fat? Okay, if he's eating like he's already 20% body fat, he's gonna become 20% body fat. That's another thing people just don't fucking get. If he's building muscle, and he's eating the same way as if he already had built the muscle, and he's under 300 pounds, and he's eating that calorie count that would maintain that amount of muscle sub 300 pounds, he's gonna get to that same fucking body composition from this point that he's at. It's that fucking easy. It's the same way when I talk about fat women. If you wanna look like a woman that fucking eats 1200 calorie a day, eat 1200 calorie a day. If Matt is eating 3000 calorie a day, which he's not even hitting, and he's lifting the way I'm telling him to lift, Eventually, he's going to look like a guy that eats 3,000 calories a day and lifts the way I'm telling him to lift, which is going to be somewhere sub 300 pounds with a whack of new lean tissue. You need to lift some heavy ass weights. And like I said, with that basic protocol, when you're chasing 20 reps, if you do more than 20 reps, you bump the fucking weight up. It's one set per day on one body part. Okay, you don't train every fucking body part every day. It's one fucking set. You pick a body part, hit your set, and leave. Okay, you're gonna fucking build muscle like fucking crazy. Like fucking crazy. It's so simple. This is how morbid obese men 
go from fucking 80, 70, 60% body fat down to a proper body weight. Okay, I don't want Matt to fucking cut the calories way back because we're lifting every day. How in the fuck is he going to recover from the fucking training? Okay, that one hard set, the tension is what drives the hypertrophy, the fucking muscle growth, the fucking tension and the intensity. And as he goes up in fucking weight, it gets more intense. It's no more complicated than that. It's not fucking granny training where you're lifting bitch weight for a million fucking reps and sets. That doesn't build muscle worth shit. Worth shit. Bitch weight doesn't build shit. Bitch weight. Okay, you need to progress. And the way I got Matthew training is fucking perfect. Okay, fucking perfect. As long as he sticks to it. Now if he fucks it up, he fucks it up. You can say that about any diet. Any strategy. Oh, that didn't work because you fucked it up. Okay, it's still on him. What I'm here to do is make it idiot proof simple for him and others. Okay, a meal a fucking day with snake juice and you get in the gym and lift some heavy ass fucking weights. This is how he's going to go from 60% body fat down to a proper body weight. Okay? Two pounds a week minimum. Okay? People just let that go through one ear and out the other. Minimum. If he loses more than two pounds in the week, fine. But I don't want him to be pushing the calories down deliberately to do it. We're trying to build muscle. Okay, two pounds a week minimum. Okay, I'm not telling him that he has to lose two pounds a fucking week. And if he's losing more than that, it's bad. Minimum. Fuck. People don't listen to shit. But if he ends up losing like 10 pounds in one week, then we're going to have a fucking problem. Because that means he's not eating enough to build the fucking muscle. Okay, all he has to do is stick to his meal a day diet. Get in his fucking snake juice. Get in the electrolytes fucking push the protein and hit that fucking set and fucking add in a little bit of cardio on a recumbent bike and he's going to get there okay it's not a timed thing okay i've been doing this shit for a long time and i'll tell you when you start fucking setting dates to when the weight's gonna come off that'll fuck up more people than it helps the goal is for matt to build muscle like crazy on the cut and if you're fucking trying to build muscle in the cut, you can't be yanking the food down to fuck all. Okay, this works for him because he loves lifting the weights. I should have had him doing this fucking two fucking years ago instead of just grinding on diet like an old fucking woman, like an old granny, old mad granny. Instead of just grinding on diet and worrying about your fucking diet. If you focus on the fucking weight training when you're morbidly obese and you're going to the gym, getting out in society, eating a meal a fucking day, which is going to be easy to stick to because you're looking forward to that lift, it's a fucking joke to lose the weight. It's simple. Is there other routines people can do? Yeah. But Matt has done everything. We've done strict fucking keto. We've done clean dieting. Everything. Long fucking fast, fuck seven days, fucking long dry fast. Okay, the weight doesn't stay off. So you gotta try something else. That's the way it works. You gotta remember, I've coached thousands of people. Okay, people of all sorts of weights. Okay, getting crazy results with every fucking routine you can think of. Okay, these people that are this fat, they're a whole different animal. They're a whole different animal than when you're trying to cut weight off a of fucking somebody that's 50 pounds overweight or 100 pounds overweight. Okay? You got to be fucking flexible and figure out what the fuck's going to get a result. And with Matt, with Matt, the gym will yield the weight loss result because it keeps the fucking lifestyle in check. That's why it's so important. And the way the training is, the one fucking set, not going in there and having a long, drawn-out workout with a bunch of bitch weight. That one set that he can look forward to and he can throw around some fucking weight. It's important that he can throw around some weight. 
So you need to have a routine where you can throw around some fucking weight. Do you understand that he's basically hitting full body within seven to ten days? Do you understand that's one hard set on every fucking muscle group? Do you understand that that builds muscle like crazy? Do you understand that that kind of training frequency, throwing around good weights, good loads, pushing the sets is older than sin? Okay, it's nothing new. Okay, I see people running their mouths like, fuck, it's no exercise. What are you talking about? Don't mix up building muscle with fucking aerobics, idiot. Fuck, it's not aerobics. It's fuck called bodybuilding. Fuck. And that's going to crank his BMR so high and get his routine so solid, it doesn't matter if he's eating fucking trash. It doesn't. If he's sticking to the meal a day because of the training routine, because it keeps a structure, it doesn't matter if he's eating trash because I weigh 200 fucking pounds, he weighs 550 pounds, and I'm eating more than him. So you think he's not going to get down to a fucking weight that's under 300 eventually on this routine? Yeah, there's people that are like, oh, I could never only lose two pounds a week. Fuck. He's not losing only two pounds a fucking week. That's what I want out of him minimum. And besides, that's fucking your problem. Okay, that's the problem. People are so overzealous and no patience, they can't lose two pounds a week because you're fucking weak. You're a weak little bitch. Okay, every fucking single person that actually gets good results long term almost always ends up being able to lose weight slow and that's a skill. Then if they want to cut weight fast, they can. Because if they cut weight fast, they're not going to just blow up when they come off their aggressive cutting routine. Because they know how to lose weight slow without fucking up. See, this is the problem. You need to learn how to lose weight slow. You need to develop the discipline and patience to lose weight slow. And then if you want, you can get crazy with fasting and shit. Which still, at this point, I don't want Matthew to do any of that because we're training every fucking day. I don't want him to skip food at all when we're pumping iron. But if you're somebody that's not pumping iron the same way, and you're doing like a fucking two-day-a-week full body, five days off, fuck, do whatever you want. Fucking skip days. Okay, if it works, it works. But just remember that if you can't lose weight slow, where you're on this fucking coasting mode on the weight loss, you're just going to gain the fucking weight back. I'm the perfect example. I fasted fucking 15 days straight. 10 days on steak juice, five days dry in a row, lost 35 fucking pounds, kept off 30. Okay, I've done long fasts where I fucking dropped 24 pounds in 10 fucking days on steak juice, kept off every fucking pound when I came off the fast because I have the discipline to have a day-to-day -day routine that looks the same. Okay, I know that once I fucking cut 20 pounds on a long fast, all I had to do was eat 2,500 calories a day on a meal a day diet, and I wasn't gonna gain the weight back. You need to be able to do that. And that's what Matt's learning through the consistency from the weight training. That's the psychology behind the one set per day. It keeps him in there. No matter if he's fucking busy, no matter if he's fucking wearing dress clothes because he just got to a fucking church. Okay, it doesn't matter because he only has to go there and hit one hard set. It doesn't have to be this big fucking production. That's how you lose a ton of weight is not fucking from raw motivation. Okay, you need just like raw willpower to get through long fast. It's the fucking day-to-day -day discipline. You've heard this a million fucking times. The day-to-day -day discipline, which is going to look like something that is sustainable for a year or for two years. Let's say even Matt, if he actually lost two pounds exactly a week for two years, he's going to be at his goal. A lot of times, if you've got a good routine, you forget about the weight loss. That's the whole point. Most of you are infatuated and you have tunnel vision with the weight loss and the dieting and you have no fucking other goals. The best goal you could have is investing in muscle. Muscle. You have no fucking muscle, you fat fucking pigs. Okay, you have like chicken wings for arms, fat motherfuckers. Okay, you move around like an old granny, old mad granny. Okay, you gotta build muscle, you fucking idiots. How do you do that? You throw around weight and you make improvements. You don't just fucking guess with your bitch weight training. Okay, 
And if you're not consistent on the gym, the fucking whole point, this one set a day routine fits fat people perfect because the gym frequency is high. The frequency on the muscle you're hitting is not that high. It's about, you know, once every six, seven, eight days. The gym frequency is high. It gets you in the fucking gym, you fat pigs. And a lot of you are so fucking shut in. That's what's going to kill you. This gives you an opportunity to get out in the world and live your fucking life. If Matthew can stick to this routine, which out of every routine I've ever seen him do is the easiest by far. This is an easy fucking routine. The only way he can fuck this up is if he stops going to the gym. The diet's not going to fuck this routine up for him. Okay, stopping the gym will fuck it up for him because then he'll fuck his diet up. The fucking one set per day fasted snake juice all day, snake juice on the food. As long as you fucking fat pigs, if you're going to do this routine, you stick to that hard set and make increases on your set. One fucking set. Throw in some cardio. You're going to fucking get there. It's about getting there. It's about finishing the fucking job. Fuck. It's not about losing a pile of weight in one month. Okay, I've seen that shit. And then people had no discipline, so they gained it all back because they did a fucking one month fast fucking on pure willpower and they had no habits in place yet. You need to fucking learn how to lose weight at a normal pace first before you go doing any aggressive shit or you will just gain the weight back. Then you just wasted your time. And then you're the motherfucker in the comments that's like, oh, I lost 20 pounds on fucking this diet. Oh, I lost 20 pounds on that diet. But then now what do you weigh? The same fucking weight. Because you just gained it back. Because you didn't settle into a good routine. Until next time, lift some heavy ass fucking weights, fatty.